because I've been lazy and I'm finally gonna do it. But this is how it is now. So let's go check out and then we'll finish our project at home. Okay, good. All right, so I made this sign with my Cricut for Justin's sister for her birthday, which was like the day before Valentine's, still ain't done. This freaking um, like stain is like shiny, glossy, and man, trying to paint stuff on here has been my worst nightmare, and I've procrastinated on it because I was gonna kill a bunch of people after it not working so many times. So I'm like over this one, and I'm gonna start new. <laughs> so I uh, just, yeah, I'm gonna use vinyl. I'm not gonna paint other than like the other stuff that I don't have the color vinyl for. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and just put a new board together. And I got a Dremel, Justin got me a Dremel because I was like, dude, when you're not home and I wanna do like crafts and stuff, um, I want to be able to do it myself. And, you know, let's be careful. And so, and I have like hand issues, so um, it's, it, and the thing's pretty heavy. Pretty heavy. So we're gonna see, and then you know, first time using it. And it comes with, once it's a little bit jiggly, what are these things? Blades, blades that you put on depending on what he's gonna be doing now. So, I don't want to turn it on, but I bet you saw her head off. Right. <laughs> I saw Justin's hand off instead. <laughs> Like that came off that back pieces, 
Just make that the back of your board. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do, so. All right, so now that we've got our stuff cut, we got, these are what's gonna keep our boards together to make the sun. So, so we've got our boards here. They are roughly, I think like 14 inches or so long. These are still a number. But they are 17. They are like 17 and a half inches long. Um, and we're going to do them up and down. Um, so, yeah, all four of our boards here so that way we can make this sign. Okay, now hopefully you guys can see it a little better. It's hard to move it up. Um, but, all right, so you just need three small little tiny boards in the back of your four boards so that way we can um, Nail them onto here and keep these boards together so that way we can make a sign. Um, I'm using one inch nails. Um, it would go through this because these are not very thick, so I'm gonna slate them so that way it doesn't go through and you see it through what we're trying to make beautiful. So it's gonna be three nails in three or four, depending on you know your preference. I'm like want to make sure this bad boy is together. So I'm probably going to go over one <laughs> and put an extra one in there. Then, then probably the end up pretty good. But let's do. so that way it can uh, blow dry with the fan and I'm gonna do the other stuff that we need to make it complete with our cricket. So let me just get this started. So now that we're 
button up dryer, we're gonna go on the computer and onto Cricut Space Design or whatever it's called. I don't even know. But I'm going to go on the Cricut page and um, I already have this template made. Um, I, this is not my own design. I ripped it off of the AR workshop on their website. I was like, oh, that's really cute. And so then I just put, it's not the exact thing, but um, I just tried to make it as similar as I could because I was like, oh, that's cute. I like that. That'd be perfect. For my sister-in-law for her birthday and her husband so that way they have some home decor homemade by us so um yeah i just measured how big the board was or whatever um and, and, and fitting it all on there but also making it look proportion out in the ceiling and stuff so i have the design made on there uh the leaves and stuff i just purchased those off of cricket so that's the good thing is if you don't know how to get it they'll let you purchase it so I got that. So now that we've already got the design made up, um, I am going to make it on the Cricut. Um, I'm doing the words all in vinyl because um, I'm just scared painting it. Um, I haven't used this stain before. And when I used another um, gray stain, it was an oil base. And like, it would like, I would paint over my stencil and then I'd pull the stencil off and the paint would come with it too. Like nothing would hit, it would be all fudged up and stuff. I'm like, yo, dude. Like, I'd rather, I, I know that vinyl, I put it down and I get it all on there. It's gonna stay, especially if I call your thing. So I'd rather just make sure that it's perfect and um, save myself some thinking time. And then I have to paint the um, leaves though on there because I just don't have any vinyl that um, is that color that I need to put on there, or I would just do that. But um, no, I'm just gonna mix the paint, paint those on because those came out pretty good. Well, even on the oil based stains. So, um, crossing my fingers that this one works. We're gonna still sand that down, make it look a little bit more rugged before we apply our stuff. But while that's drying, we can't, you know, sand it down until it's dry. So, while that's doing that, let's go ahead and this one. So, this is what I use for my stencil because it's good. And he's like, and he's like, and he's like, and this is my um, vinyl, and this is outdoor vinyl. I typically use that because it's more durable, so I know it will last um, in a cold sun. tape on here that way it will stick to that transfer tape and I can just put it right there and it'll stick there on the board so that's one part yeah I don't know.
that you put on there. This is why people buy signs instead of making them. Okay. okay. Because they are quite freaking annoying. Okay. And I got all the pieces that I need for this. That's not I'm not doing it. That's just how it is. So we got the stencils, we'll pull that off and put that on there. But first we just gotta position our crap where it needs to go. So that way we know exactly where to put it all when we that. But I have to pick, so I'll be back. Okay, welcome back to the next day because after I had kids, I said I had tea. Well, I have to get my pants off and all that jazz to do all that. And um, that is impossible. Like I can get it off in my, in my chair, but I can't get them back on my chair. So once I got to bed, I just was ready to be done. And that was it. So we're on the next day now. We're like four hours. Like it does, it takes time, at least for me being therapeutic um, with some blood in your shoes in my hands. Um, it takes me a little bit of time. Plus, you have to do something like it's tedious. You know, you gotta weed all these freaking things out, put, you know, put on here. You've gotta, you know, sand things down. You've gotta nail things together. You have to wait for paint to dry, and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's it's a it's a day process. Um, probably why people buy these instead of make them themselves. <laughs> but um, okay, so we're on day two. I'll be able to finish this up. This is a lot browner than the shiny, like the oil-based gray that we had. So it's not quite what, to our liking. So I'm just gonna um, sand it down and see if it helps at all. Um, but yeah. Here we go. We think that it's made it a little bit more gray sanding it down, it still has that tint to it, you know, um, a little brownish, but I'm over this board. So I'm like, eh, this is going to be how it is now. So we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> um, all right, so let me see. Lighting is definitely darker over here, so you're not getting like the true color. Let me see if it'll shine. 
so I don't know if that light helps at all. But we're done with the project. The polyurethane, you can see it's a little bit wet still um, up there, but um, yeah, it's good. So um, if it's not all, you know, measured out, like the leaves on the right is a little bit higher than the other, Beth ain't even me current because she ain't selling it. And even if she was, it took me like four and a half, five hours to make this. So, um, you know, I think it came out pretty good. So take pictures. All right.